Hi there, Jake Miller here, and while I normally like to focus my videos on things that enhance the learning opportunities for students, today I want to focus on something else that helps make that happen, which is making our teachers and our students more efficient on the computer to free up time to do those more engaging things and have those richer learning opportunities. Google Chrome uh, includes a lot of different ways to make us more efficient with our time on the computer and one of those is bookmarks and there's probably more stuff you could do with bookmarks than you realize probably even more than I realize but I'm going to show you a couple tips to how to use your bookmarks to make yourself a little more efficient so first of all let's make a bookmark the way to make a bookmark in Google Chrome is to go over to the right of this white bar called the Omnibox or the address bar and click on the star and that will bookmark the page now you notice you have a choice of where to go do you want to go in the bookmarks bar or the bookmarks other, or the other bookmarks. And other bookmarks is this folder over here on the right that pops up once you first use it. So if I take that bookmark away by deleting it, you see that that folder is gone. Now the better place to keep your bookmarks is in the bookmarks bar, which is this bar, at least to me it is, which is this bar underneath the Omnibox. Now if you don't see it, there's a button here under the three dots, bookmarks, and then you want to click book, show bookmarks bar. There's also a keyboard shortcut, mm -hmm. which is on an Apple Command Shift B or on other devices, Control Shift B, and that will make that come up. You notice over on the left is always the Apps button, and then everything else goes to the right of that. So let's say I want to bookmark Google over there, and I want to put it in the bookmarks bar, and there it is. Now, the downside of the way I see most people use bookmarks bar is they run out of space really quickly because of the names of the websites. Now, notice that this website has a name, but it also has this little image on the left here. As long as a book, as long as a web page has one of those images, one of those little thumbnail icons, you can make just that, the bookmark. So watch this. When I bookmark my Gmail inbox for this account, I could just take out the name here because otherwise it's going to show this whole thing in that bar I could hit the backspace key to erase the entire name I could just shorten it but I could take out the whole thing click done and now my bookmark is just the symbol and I know that that symbol is Gmail so that's easy so for Google and watch that I, how much space I save here I could take out the word Google hit save and now notice I've saved a little bit of space here and that seems silly is silly to some people but you think about how many different sites you visit and if you could have them all accessible up here without having to scroll over to the right or anything like that it's pretty useful so let's go ahead and do the same for Google Drive okay take the name out of there click done and there it is right there do the same for calendar click the star take out the name click done there's my calendar now one other thing to keep in mind is that the website uh, address you're on is what you're bookmarking. So if I bookmark Google Drive right now, I'm actually not bookmarking my the main part of my drive, which is my drive. I'm bookmarking the starred folder, which is actually kind of useful. So my first bookmark was with me and my drive. So see this part of the link here changes when I click on starred and now it says starred. So if I want a quick bookmark to get to just that spot in my drive, I can. Or if I want a certain folder or if I want to search for something and have that be the bookmark, then I could do that. If I want my recent folders to be there, that's a separate bookmark. That's my recent folders. Let's go ahead and bookmark my recent. Now here I'm going to want to give it a name because I want to, it's going to be the same drive symbol. So maybe I take everything off except for the word recent. Okay, now let's bookmark my starred. Let's just take everything off except for the word starred. Okay, now notice when I hover over them, it shows me the address and see that this one says slash starred on the end and this one says slash recent on the end and this one says slash my drive on the end. So those three are all different bookmarks. Okay. Now, sometimes with bookmarks, when you go to bookmark them, you'll find that they actually don't have an image that goes with them. And I could tell from this one up here on the top left on the tab that there's no image that goes with it. It's just a blank page. And that happens on a lot of websites. This is called the Parent Portal, where we uh, assist them for parents to access forms and things like that at the school I work for, Orange Schools. But it doesn't have a link there. So I always try to just shorten the name down. Maybe I just call it Portal but it has that, that page there, kind of an ugly thing to have there. So a workaround that I've tried using before is because I, because I don't want to have to read the words there in, in terms of efficiency, it's nice to just have the symbol. So what I'll try to use is emoji. And you could uh, either, maybe you have a keyboard for emoji set up on your computer, or if you go somewhere on your computer to get them as text, you could just paste them in. So I've used this site, getemoji.com before. Not sure if it's the best one. If you know a better one, let me know. And then you can copy a picture. Like let's say for this parent portal, I'm going to get these two parents with these two kids. So I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to copy it. 
going to go up here and I'm going to change. So I'm going to edit this bookmark. And instead of the word portal, I'm going to put in that picture and it saves a little bit of room up there. Now, some people might think that's too small of an image and they can't tell what it is. Well, that's fine then. Don't do it that way. But also, say for my starred folder, I can come down here and get a star, change this bookmark. Oops, I clicked on it there. Change this bookmark to be the image of the star. And that's a little bit smaller and I can tell exactly what it is. For the recent, I could use a clock and it'll save a little bit of room for me too. Now, one other thing I could do, because you're going to run out of room in this bookmarks bar at some point in time, you can also put those into folders. Some people don't like to do that because they think the bookmarks bar should be where they just see everything laid out. And that's fine if everything fits there for you. But you can also put things into folders. So let's say that I want to put Google Keep in there and I'm going, you know what? I'm really ending up with a lot of Google stuff in my bookmarks bar. So when I bookmark Google Keep, I'm going to say, you know what, instead of just putting it in the bookmarks bar, I'm going to put it into another folder. And it's going to be inside of the bookmarks bar, I'm going to make a new folder. And I'm going to call it Google. So now I've got this new folder over here called Google. And right inside of there, there's Google Keep. And now I can just drag the other things into it. Put my calendar in there. Put this recent in there put my star documents in there, but I'm gonna leave my parent portal out here and here they all are, okay? And I can get to them really easily. You can also put more folders inside of that folder if you want to and have nested folders in there. That's up to you. Some people, again, like I said, think that your bookmarks bar is just for quick click things and you shouldn't have to dig down in there. That's really a preference for you. You can also put more folders into that other bookmark spot that we had over here. So you can come over here and click on it and see all those nested folders in there. Now, if you need to edit your bookmarks, you can click on the bookmarks bar at any time, right click on it, I should say, and click bookmark manager. And it brings you to this menu, which reminds me of Windows Explorer back in the day, and allows you to then organize things. So from here, I can create new bookmarks by right-clicking and saying add a folder or add a page, open all bookmarks in a new window, all kinds of different things, and drag things around to change the order they appear in if you really have a lot of bookmarks that you need to get organized to get, get them kind of under control. Notice you can even search through your bookmarks. Okay. Another tip, you can have bookmarks multiple times. So you can put it in one folder and in a different folder if you feel like two different bookmarks or if the bookmark goes in two different places. So I know it's going to take a little bit of work up front to get your bookmarks organized, but I really think that in the long run, it makes you more efficient when you're using your device.